Action Boulevard, a mixture of small retail shops, car dealerships, and restaurants. But in recent months, it has become a hotbed of activity for local prostitutes. Merchants here say they are out day and night, disturbing customers and hurting business. Every day and every night on this corner. Walking up and down here, I watch them every single day. It's hurting business for you at all? or well, it can't help business, you know, everybody is getting to be a lousy part of town. 22-year-old Jeanette Kangas says she has been selling her body out here for the past five years and feels that she's providing a service. A lot of lonely guys come out here and they talk to us about their wives and how, you know, they're not being um, sexually taken care of or anything like that. So, you know, I think we're just, you know, helping a lot of married men out. But police say the prostitutes bring in other crime. Robbery and drug dealing are on the rise, and they aim to put a stop to it. The majority of the girls that we have working down there are uh, substance abusers, and uh, as a result, there are ancillary crimes that occasionally go along with that. Uh, periodically, there, there'll, there'll be some rip-offs where they, you know, they may, the Johns may get robbed. Uh, you know, kids can't go to school all the time. You know, they come out and they find these things in their yards. Hayward police have been using undercover decoys to arrest both the working women and their johns. More people have been arrested for prostitution this year than in the last three. Jeanette was busted two weeks ago. It was my first prostitution case in six years. You know. were you? Yeah, I've, I've always tried to um, stay away from them undercovers, but this one was really good you know and uh but they're cracking down hard and they're going